Nuts and seeds are highly nutritious and low in carbs. Perfect for your carb dodging diet, right? Well, for the most part, yes, but there are exceptions that you need to know about and even the lowest of low carb nuts can prevent weight loss. Hey Carb Dodgers, my name is Dr. Dan Mags. So nuts and seeds are tasty, high in nutrition, and for the most part, low in carbs. But despite this, nuts are one of the main sources of problems that I see on a low carb diet. The first reason is that there are a few nuts that do contain higher amounts of carbohydrates, which sometimes catch people out. So pecan and Brazil nuts are the lowest in carbs at four grams of net carbs per 100 grams. Uh, macadamia nuts are another great option at five. Hazelnuts and walnuts and peanuts have seven net carbs per 100 grams. Almonds are slightly higher at 10 per 100 grams. And jumping all the way up to 18, we have pistachios. And then another big jump up to cashew nuts right up at 27. And these are the nuts that you really need to be careful of on a low carb diet. So moving on to the seeds section. Chia seeds are fantastic. They're low carb at eight net carbs per 100 grams. There are some great chia seed breakfast puddings over on my website at carbdudging.com if you want to go and check those out. Sunflower seeds have 11, sesame seeds have 12, uh, pumpkin seeds are pretty high at 36. But the thing is with seeds is that we tend to use them in such small quantities as it really doesn't cause too many problems uh, with carb counting. So the main takeaway from this section is really to avoid cashew nuts and possibly pistachios as well. But even low carb nuts can be a bit of an issue to people who are trying to lose weight. And it's because all nuts are very energy dense. What do I mean by that? I mean that gram for gram, nuts contain a lot of calories. So here is a good handful of pecan nuts, and it weighs about 50 grams. And whilst that's only two grams of net carbs, it's also 345 calories. And nuts are an easy snack, and it's quite easy to consume a lot of them over the course of a day, and therefore consume quite a lot of calories in the process, especially salted nuts, which are more difficult to portion control. And if you're watching this thinking, wow, I'd never eat that many nuts, then you're probably safe. But I guarantee you that there will be people who are watching this and saying, yeah, I could really easily eat that many nuts. And if that's you, then beware. And this problem is really compounded when we look at things like nut butters, which are basically blended up nuts. And again, it's very easy to consume a lot of calories in this way. So if you're struggling to lose weight despite a low carb diet and you're still eating nuts, then you may wish to think about cutting your nut intake right down or possibly even eliminating nuts during this particular phase of your diet. And if you're gonna consume nut butters, then quality is very, very important. Have a look at these labels that I found in the supermarket earlier today. This one contains added sugar and this one contains added sugar and palm oil. Pretty nasty stuff. You want either pure blended nuts, such as in this almond one, or you want just nuts and a bit of sea salt, such as in this peanut butter one. And whilst we're on the issue of quality, many of you will notice that nuts can go a bit rancid and start to taste quite horrible. The fat in nuts is mainly polyunsaturated fat, which means it will react with air. So be sure to keep nuts at the very least in an air sealed container and you can even keep them in the fridge or the freezer in order to slow down this process of oxidizing. So that's it for today. Remember, cashew nuts are pretty high in carbs. Uh, pistachio nuts, they are also fairly high in carbs. You may wanna limit those. And really, if you're struggling to lose weight on a low carb diet, but you are, you know you're keeping the carbs low, then the sheer amount of calories that you find, even in quite a small number of nuts may be causing you a problem and you may wish to eliminate that from your diet. So that's it for today, guys. This video is part of a playlist. Um, I'm gonna link that up in the top corner here and at the end of this video. Uh, that playlist is all about 
what can you eat on a low carb diet? If this video has been helpful, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with some of your friends. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I release new videos on this topic every Tuesday, so please check those out. And I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you.